Hey y'all, so I finally beat it 12 30. So, anyways, this is the team I used. Darkness approaches. Lemma show y'all my setup. The sheep always get restless on Cotton with nights. two almond and three swift chocolate for sustain. Watchers, on my mark. Caramel with full raspberry set. Ah, history! <laughs> Eclair with swift chocolate toppings. Where did I go? Dark wrong? Choco with full almond toppings. Sorbet with full raspberry toppings. So in treasures you need. If you don't have them, you can always spend mileage points for treasure tickets. It's really cheap. Don't forget to buy cookie soul stones to upgrade your cookies. Gameplay time and some explanations. Let's start with Dark Choco Cookie. His skill debuffs the enemy death by 20, which is insane against bosses. So that means you really need them against these type of bosses, like the guild one. For Caramel Arrow Cookie, she's my main damage output. You know with her arrow stacks and the burst at the end of her skill, and Eclair is here for the damage amplification that stacks for times. Plus, he deals great damage the longer the fight continues. Sorbet here is very replaceable to be honest. I just chose them cause of single target but they are very fragile. You can just swap them out with someone that you like as long as that cookie deals actual damage. Now for Cotton Cookie, you cannot go wrong investing her and leveling her up. She's just an absolute great unit of healer, and a summoner what else could go wrong? And now, my sorbet died. Two stars, flopped. Look at that damage.
Anyways, that's all for now. I'm gonna three stars it later.